Hello everybody, welcome back to another Trailmakers video, and today I'm going to do a kind of shorter video, and I would like to show you what I've made here. So I kind of created inverse kinematics in Trailmakers, which if you don't know what they are, um, it's basically where like the leg of a 3D model tries to kind of match the terrain. It's kind of hard to explain, so I'm going to quickly show a clip of it in another game. Alright guys, so now that you kind of get an idea of what inverse kinematics looks like, I wanted to show you my version of it here in Trailmakers, which is, I admit, pretty scuffed, but it is a prototype of course, which is why I made this little ugly prototype mech. But I kind of wanted to show you what I cooked up here, because it, it is kind of interesting, and I think it has potential if it's refined, because this is not very good. So if I walk like over to some flat ground here, you can see it like kind of balances itself and it sits down. So, I put pistons in the feet, so if I raise one side all the way up, you'll see A, it leans, and then B, this leg kind of stretches out a little bit compared to this one, and then the foot kind of bends to touch the ground, and it's trying to stabilize itself, and it's not doing a good job. Sometimes it, like I said, this is a early prototype. Sometimes it works, other times it doesn't really work. Okay, so if I, yeah, there you go. You can see right now it's kind of trying to really balance itself, but it is struggling. Where you can really see it shine is if I go over to something like this block here, and I kind of just get one foot up on it, one foot off, you can see it kind of try and balance itself. So let me try and demonstrate what I mean. So it's kind of, yeah, there we go. Here's a really good example. This is a perfect shot. So right now, the one foot's up here. And then it's kind of allowing the knee to bend a little bit. And then this foot is extending and trying to touch the friction pad on the floor. And it stopped wobbling and now it's stable. And if we start walking again, we can kind of go. And, and this is pretty cool for like on hills. Now, I mean, of course, this isn't that useful in trail makers. I just thought I'd make it because it was a cool idea and it ended up being a lot harder to do than I thought it'd be. Uh, so if we go to a hill here, you can see it kind of tries to lean into the hill to prevent itself from sliding off. So it kind of goes on its tippy toes and leans into the hill. And then if you turn sideways on a hill, what happens is it's going to do the balancing thing. So, well, there we go. Now it caught. The one foot is planted firmly and the other foot's trying to touch the front of it on the ground to stabilize. It is failing on this kind of lesser hill, but you can see it sometimes touching. You can kind of see what it's trying to do, but again, it's not perfect yet. But I think where this really excels is the example earlier with that little block there. You could really see it doing its work. And I think it's pretty cool. Uh, so I wanted to kind of explain how it works. So that way you guys understand. And in case anyone wants to try and make improvements on this and make this more of a viable thing to use. And of course, the system's turned off while it's walking because it's all hooked into AND gates. So if I pull this up in the build menu, I know I'm in um, the early access build right now, but this is exactly the same as the base version so i guess you guys get a little sneak peek at the new menu here but anyways so this is kind of my logic i have the mech right here and to tackle the issue of it wanting to stand on its tippy toes when it spawns in i have a little balancing system to kind of pull it back when the angle's less than 0.7 but anyways we have distance sensors in the feet here and then i'll just show one side because it's the same on both sides and it just outputs a distance the uh, farther away it gets from the ground, the higher the value is, and I allowed you to see the number here. So if I raise the one side, you can see that number start to go up, and as a result, the whole system activates and tilts and tries to touch the ground, although it's failing in this specific example. But basically, it goes in here, and it goes to this arithmetic gate, which multiplies it by a constant of 2, and then this basically just kind of Im influences the power, and then these are just... Kind of, these uh, four XOR gates are the opposite of what these joints are set to. So it kind of just, that's why it straightens it out. Uh, and then depending on the distance, it'll straighten it out more or less. And then these and logic gates right here control the tilt forward and backwards. And it's just an angle. Is it, you know, less than 60? If so, tilt it back to make it rest on its feet. Oops. And then these guys control the tilt of 
the max side to side so that way when it's trying to touch the ground it can tilt for that little extra boost to touch the ground because these mech legs aren't quite long enough for steeper hills so that's kind of what that's for and all of this is just simple xor gates locked with w so the whole system isn't on when you're actually moving so you can still walk like normal nice smooth walk and then when you stop walking the system stabilizes itself depending on the surface so and what it's not but yeah like on a ledge like this you can definitely see it leaning to try and touch the ground more although the steeper it is the better the more shallow hills it struggles like right here yeah it's gripping the ground and it's trying to stop it but of course the angle's a little too steep so now the other foot's going and then i also added protection last little thing here added protection so that if the foot the front of the foot gets too close to a solid object the foot is programmed to pick itself up a little bit to get it over the object and this happens even when it's walking actually so if i go over here you kind of see if i let these distance sensors kind of get in contact you can see the knee kind of pushes it backwards like that so it doesn't get stuck so this thing has prevention against getting stuck on steep terrain so yeah, it's a pretty cool mech, and I think it's an interesting proof of concept, and I'd love to see if you guys can do more with it, or maybe make it work a little bit better. I just, I haven't seen anyone do inverse kinematics and trail makers before. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, consider leaving a like and subscribing if you'd like to, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.